So today I saw a video put up by Drew over at Whitworks where he did a first impressions video about the brand new Milwaukee track saw and compared it to a bunch of other track saws. But he didn't even mention this guy. Well, I'm here to correct that and tell you why this track saw not only deserves to be in the conversation, but just may be the best track saw out there. Let's talk about it. Hi everybody, hola amigos. I'm Lee from Busted Knuckle Woodworks and today I want to address a video I saw this morning from Drew Witt over at Whitworks. I'll put a link to it in the description. In that video, he did an overall comparison that included just about every major track saw in the industry, except this one, the DeWalt DCS 520. He singled out the Festool, the Milwaukee, and the Makita as among the top tier cordless track saws in the game. And he's not wrong, but I was a little disappointed that he didn't include the DeWalt 60 volt track saw on that list because I definitely think it deserves to be there. Now, I don't know Drew, he doesn't know me, even though he lives only about an hour away. He's in San Antonio, I'm in Austin. And even though we're this close, geographically speaking, he doesn't invite me over to his shop because he's afraid this handsome face will take over his channel. I, I can't think of any other reason. Now, this is not going to be a comprehensive review of the DeWalt track saw. In fact, you don't get a lot of YouTubers reviewing this saw, and that's kind of a shame. But in this video, I'm just going to point out several unique features of this saw that no other saw has, and why, if you're considering buying a track saw, you should be putting this DeWalt on your short list. First, let's talk about power. The DeWalt cordless track saw uses a 60 volt battery. This is part of their flex volt system. Now, a lot of guys tend to worry about battery powered track saws, that they aren't as powerful as a corded saw. And those fears are probably well founded when it comes to most corded track saws. But unlike the Festool 36 volt, the Milwaukee 18 volt, and the Makita 36 volt, this DeWalt 60 volt is actually more powerful than a corded saw. Yeah. For example, the Festool's cordless track saw motor provides 1200 watts of power, which is about 1.6 horsepower. A typical corded track saw will provide about 1600 watts, which is 2.1 horsepower. But this DeWalt 60 volt saw can provide up to a whopping 2000 watts of power. That's nearly two and three quarter horsepower. That's because it runs on a 60 volt battery and it's not limited by the current provided by your household wiring. You aren't getting that from any other cordless track saw and you aren't getting that from any corded saw. The DeWalt track has a feature that no other track in the industry has and that is their track has two usable edges. Both sides are usable and that carries a lot of advantages. First, you get twice as much wear out of it. When the zero clearance strip wears out on one side, you've got a whole other side fresh and ready to go. Second, you can cut in either direction without having to reorient the track. On other track saws, you need to rotate the entire track 180 degrees if you want to cut in the other direction. Third, with other track saws, if you do a bevel on their single edge track, you'll cut into your zero clearance strip, which means it won't be a zero clearance strip anymore. If you happen to do a lot of bevel cuts with the DeWalt track, you can designate one side for 90 degree cuts and one for bevel cuts, say like 45 degrees. <music> Another big advantage is the track versatility on this saw. This DeWalt track saw fits pretty much all the other major manufacturers tracks. When I wanted a short track to use on smaller stock, I picked up this shorty Festool track and boom. 
When I use this to help my neighbor cut down some quarter sawn white oak for a new bathroom vanity, I use his Makita track and boom. These other saws don't work on the DeWalt track though. The way a lot of these saws are designed, the entire body of the saw flips all the way up and then you plunge down from this very tall position. The DeWalt doesn't flip up like that. It sort of cantilevers, I guess? It stays low and level and it plunges like this. This makes the profile shorter, which makes it less top heavy and easier to handle. And it also means you can get the DeWalt into places other saws won't fit, which is great for job site work. Finally, let's talk about price, which is of course a very important consideration. The Festool with the case, track, and battery will set you back $908. The Milwaukee with the case, track, battery, and a charger will run you $768. The Makita with a case, track, battery, and charger goes for $724. The DeWalt with the 60 volt flex volt battery, air cooled fast charger, case, and a 59 inch track, $619. That's over $100 cheaper than the Makita, about $150 cheaper than the Milwaukee, and nearly $300 less than the Festool. You guys can all do math, right? So there you have it. Don't get me wrong, the Festool, the Milwaukee, the Makita, those are all great saws. But don't sleep on this DeWalt. It definitely deserves to be in the conversation with those other saws. And now, hopefully it is. There you go, Drew. Fixed it for you, buddy. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. We've got a lot more videos like this coming, and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. I'm Lee from Busted Knuckle Woodworks. See you in the next one. Adios, amigos.